with KHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. As we get out of the weekend and start our new work week, taking a peek into our Po'akahi, our first moon of the week, Monday, we're looking at very comfortable conditions, low threats for our ua, our rain, our makani, our winds, our jellyfish, our pololia, but our ocean conditions, that remains on moderate. We have a small craft advisory that actually has been extended from tomorrow morning until Wednesday morning, and we can thank the breezy trade winds for that. So for all you small boaters, please take that into account. And for all you surfers, since we're talking about our oceans, we're having some waves come down on the north and west facing shores along with the south we have flat to two up north two to four for the west three to five with a swell coming through for the south facing shores that's going to be diminishing within the next couple days east facing shores that remains elevated with those trade winds coming in our high tomorrow will be around three o'clock at just under two feet now with those trade winds we're going to keep those easterly shores uh, quite elevated for the next few days as we continue to see these moderate to breezy conditions these blues and greens progress until we get to wednesday we're going to see more of these greens more breezy Easier conditions, a little gust going to be coming through around Wednesday into Thursday, and unfortunately, slowly ease off as we get into next weekend. But nonetheless, trade winds will be here through our extended forecast. Now, with that, in terms of the shower activity, we mainly see these windward and Malka showers during the evening and early morning hours, with the exception of Kailua Kona getting its afternoon downpours due to the heat. We have this upper level disturbance that's going to be moving through. It's a weak one nonetheless, but it could be sparking up some enhanced showers for the windward sides. And if we have those breezy trade winds, some of that could be toppled over towards the leeward, but for the most part, we're seeing a beautiful day tomorrow. Kauai taking a highlight. We're gonna, it's one of the areas that has the highest chances of shower activity. The morning, up to 70% of ch uh, sh chance of showers. That comes down to about 30 to 50 for the rest of the day. Opposite side of the state, we look at Hilo. Is it going to be the other area that has the greatest chance of shower activity? Up to 70% for the morning and evening hours, and for the rest of the state, really looks to be around 10 to 20 uh, percent of chance for those showers. Until then, as you see our radar showing that increase of showers tonight, that's going to be taking us into the morning. So we can start tomorrow morning off on a little bit more damper note. We're looking at some showers likely coming down to more scattered, isolated showers for the afternoon hours. And that's going to be progressing all the way through this extended forecast. The little bump in our wind speeds for Wednesday, Thursday. And with those increased wind speeds, you can expect a little increase in those windward showers too. It all depends on that moisture coming in with the trades. But 87 looking to be the high all the way through the week. I gotta say that's looking beautiful. Have a blessed week everybody. Sam, back to you.